MSME sector is affected to a very great extent, especially as far as the smaller companies are concerned, especially large cap companies. They don't have much of an issue. They have the financial muscle. They are more organized. The planning is a lot more robust. But if you talk about MSME, they are uh, facing huge challenge, challenges and difficult times compared to the large uh, cap companies. And today we're going to talk about the MSME companies and what kind of a help government can provide. In fact, the government has been providing a lot of help. There's no doubt in that. But in the light of the COVID crisis, crisis through the second wave right now, we need to explore how the government can help in um, continuing its support to the MSMEs. In fact, in one of the interviews, Sanjay, the chairman of Magma Fincar, came up with lots and lots of interesting points, which I thought I will, uh, uh, you know, share uh, with uh, all of you. He feels that the Reserve Bank of India and the Commerce Ministry, they have been extremely proactive in addressing lots and lots of issues concerning MSMEs, be it in terms of providing liquidity support, reducing the interest rates, providing the interest subvention to MSMEs. Uh, there are guarantees, ECLGS, which have been provided and lots of other things. Emergency credit link guarantee uh, schemes, government guaranteed programs like CGT, MSME. You know, I'll be putting up separate videos on these and uh, your some kind of credit guarantee trust for medium and small, same thing which I said a little bit. Government has done lots and lots of things and because of all those proactive steps, we have been able to get through this crisis quite successfully. But last but not the least, moratoriums announced by the government, they were all in good taste and they, they all have helped us confront the situation successfully. The second wave was something that none of us expected and that has come as a big shock to every one of us. So I think, what can the government do at this point in time just to support the MSMEs? Because the MSMEs are a very important part of the economy, okay? So one most important thing is the last mile credits that needs to be provided and the government needs to lend its hand. We will look in terms of how the government can uh, give some prior, prior, priority on this. Secondly, the retail and the wholesale trade is excluded. We will talk about a little later in this uh, post, but if you look at these banks like HDFC or uh, other, you know, big banks like Kotak Mahindra, Axis, big large NBFC banks, you know, they give loans only to the sectors which are doing well and which are the top end, especially within the MSMEs. They may not be very particular in giving it to small, small um, MSMEs, but they want to provide it to big, big companies. They, were, they have collaterals, etc., etc. We will talk about that. I will cover that. Thirdly, some kind of a debt restructuring facility should be provided to them once again. Okay, there are lots and lots of delinquent uh, MSMEs. Their intentions are there. Intentions are very, very clear. Genuine businessmen, but one can. You know, situation has put all of them in such a tight spot. There are guys who have been very prompt in uh, uh, paying their uh, EMIs, very genuine guys, but some kind of a consideration needs to be given to them and they must be allowed to do the restructuring once again. You know, Commerce Ministry, RBI, they need to work very closely. I guess they are already in talks. I read about some of these in Economic Times, etc. Uh, etc. Et government is doing all that, but the speed I think needs to be improved. Things have to be done a little faster because the more we waste time in all these things, the effectiveness of those reforms will go away because those things are very, very important and it is essential they come at the right time when the MSMEs need them the most. Especially in the hinterland, if you talk about uh, uh, parts of Rajasthan, interior areas of Punjab, your hinterlands in the UP, Tamil Nadu, they are all going under the local curfews. Trucks are not allowed, movement is not free, small, small businesses are affected, okay? You know, even the field guys from the uh, uh, banks have not been able to visit these people. Many of them are suffering from COVID. You know, they are unable to visit their people, collect the money, uh, complete the documentation. These are some of the challenges that each one of these small, small banks are facing. Now, 
we will talk about the delinquencies in fact in 2013 some kind of a harmonization concept was brought between rbi and the msme okay for example prior to 2014 Uh, there was no definition proper definition because these two agencies were functioning independently there was no synergy between them but connection was required and certain synergies had to be built up between these two in order to ensure that the schemes brought out by the government reach the last mile they both had their own definitions but in the year 2014 some kind of a harmonization was done in terms of bringing them together Uh, to facilitate some kind of a synergy between these two agencies that was very important so they have come under a proper definition since 2017 they have come under specific definitions under the msme uh, act where the retail and wholesale was excluded 2017 but whereas one or two years back the retail and wholesale were included recently i think one and a half two years back after lots and lots of deliberations they were included because that is important retail and wholesale trade is very very important they also build the economy they are also playing a very important part in the ecosystem but when rbi came up with another circular last year they were excluded i won't say it was uh, purposely done but inadvertent because these two sectors are, so it was inadvertent most people say that it in, it was inadvertently missed out as a result of which these things have already been represented to the msme saying that wholesalers and retailers also needs to be included but till such time it happens rbi should allow till you know the act gets formally uh, amended that is wholesale and the retail traders should also get benefit of all these schemes by the central government okay uh they need to be included because uh, you are i we I mean your shop keepers your wholesalers your c and f agent because they are also facing the same problem that the other msmes are facing and therefore lot of support is required by the government in this particular area if it is not done there will be significant damage to the whole ecosystem if you look at the nuances as far as uh, the lending to small small companies we were talking about small small nbfcs we are not talking about hb hdfcs and uh, axis bank the bigger banks take care of the higher end of the small and medium sector they lend only to those people these banks uh, they have the pricing power they have deep pockets huge money <laughs> they will lend only to the creamy people they have collaterals and hundred thing but who is going to finance the lower end of the msme sector it is only small small companies nbfcs right they will they are the ones who is going to provide the last mile connectivity as far as the credit supply is concerned especially during the corona time remember that guys there was a high pressure on the cash flows of most of the small small msmes the retailers the wholesale it was only the small small nbfcs which came to their rescue ensured that money was available to them as a result of which you know essential commodities were made available so in that process the wholesalers retailers you know contributed a lot and small small nbfcs played a very big role in financing money to such people okay so as far as the small banking companies are concerned 70% of their portfolio goes to small small msmes your truck operators small small farmers wholesalers small small industries etc etc but the current the government schemes are not benefiting them enough and therefore it is necessary the government should do something for people in the lower end of the msmes also because they are providing huge contribution to the whole economic chain in our country therefore it is necessary that the government takes the lower end of the msme is very very seriously the lower end of the msme is uh, for example those uh, com- you know industries having you know manpower of 50 100 150 200 people etc etc in fact their contribution to the economy is in fact huge they are the one of the greatest employees because of their size size one ticket size may not be big but if you look at the number of companies millions of companies operate like that and i think the government should take due care of them and ensure 
that whatever credits, whatever benefits are announced by the government, they reach the last man in the queue. Okay, guys, thank you very much. And this is Dr. Sadashivam signing off. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Udal surungi, virindal ke mooch. Viral surungi, virindal mail mooch.